In part two, we'll look at data portals for free and open sources of GIS data. But first, before we get to specific examples, what is a portal? Well, generally it's a doorway, gate, or other entrance. Um, for this video, we're really talking about an internet site providing access or links to other sites. Um, this can also include things like GIS servers. Um, also check out dataportals.org. There, you'll find this cool interactive map of open data portals worldwide. Currently, there are more than 500 listed. Um, I found the map to be pretty good. When I went and looked for a few um, sort of very local open data portals, I was able to pull them up on this website. So be sure to check it out. So the first open data portal we'll talk about is data.gov which is the home for the U.S. government's federal open data initiatives. Uh, you'll see the single search box there, um, but you can also browse by different topics, um, whether it's something like health or local government related. Um, you can also see news about highlights, um, as well as data challenges for developers. Um, so you could enter uh, search there, um, and you can also go up to the data tab at the top. You'll notice a few uh, key uh, search items here. Uh, there's a map um, where you can draw an extent and select a location. You can also filter by different criteria, including whether or not you're looking for geospatial or non-geospatial data uh, by agency and by uh, file format type. You can also sort the results um, by different criteria depending on the name, when it was added, if it's popular, etc. And so we also reach our first challenge of open data portals, which is the difficulty in search. Um, as you can see, there are a lot of different federal agencies that provide data. Um, for example, NOAA, which is in the Department of Commerce, has more than 60,000 data sets. Um, and in some cases, you may be better off actually going to the NOAA's usual sites that you go to to find data. Um, it can be very difficult to find data in open data portals. Next, Esri hops aboard the open data train um, and has its own open data portal um, that organizations can use um, to further publish their data from their local or state data portals. Um, you'll notice that there's a newest data section as well as some noteworthy data. We'll go ahead and type in a basic search. I'm just going to type in Maryland in the search bar. Um, Ezra's implementation is very nice. You'll see the different extents for different data sets up at the top. Um, you'll see uh, a lot about the data, very organized. In this case, it's again feeding from a, a local government data portal. Um, we'll click on Maryland Hospitals. You'll see a preview at the top, um, as well as the data sets attributes towards the bottom here on the types of data. Um, you'll see tags. Um, um, and other related information. So again, a uh, nice implementation of an open data portal. The National Weather Service also has a nice uh, open geodata portal. Um, and you can see different file formats as well as web services, which we'll go ahead and click on. Um, and you can see, um, as we'll see, even though this is using ArcGIS server, that they're, they're also mentioning that you can use free programs um, to access this data. Um, so we'll go ahead and click on it um, so you can see that it's an ArcGIS um, uh, REST service. Um, but again, um, open data portals can use a combination of open as well as propri proprietary uh, platforms. Um, going up to KML, um, we can see an uh, extensive list of uh, different forecast information um, that pretty much anyone can use easily. Lastly, here's a look at a local open data portal for New York City. Um, and I want to to just show a local data portal because a lot of the data you'll find here you can directly download um, as opposed to federal sites in which a lot of the local and state data is syndicated um, and so you'll actually be referred to an external link. Um, on the New York City page you'll also find um, a great example of looking at tree diversity um, as well as a way to actually visualize all the different data sets um, in the portal. Lastly, a few parting thoughts about open data portals. There are more of these open data portals um, existing. Um, they can become hard to search over time as more data is added to them. So hopefully we'll see some better uh, options for the ability to search, especially when it comes to creating complicated searches for including or excluding certain data sets. They can leverage free and open proprietary or hybrid GIS and data platforms. 
Um, and frequently data can be downloaded directly from the page, but sometimes you're linked to external sources. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like or subscribe button.